how often are you supposed to get a pap smear? And are you worried when you see things like this that you're supposed to space them? Oh, women's healthcare is like ever changing and so complicated. Hi, I am your local OBGYN. I love women. And if you want more answers to information like this and other women's healthcare questions, follow me and ask your questions in the comments. So here is the deal. There are many things that we do when you come in for an annual checkup, but most women think that they come in and it is truly just for their pap smear and HPV screen. But we do a breast, a belly, a neck, a vaginal exam, we feel your uterus. But if you're coming in just because you think you're getting your pap, look, I'll take whatever it is to get somebody in for a screening. The guidelines have changed. And you know, many of us grew up at a time where we're supposed to be going every year for a pap smear, but now you're being told space them. So the, the task forces that were put in place in order to decide how often we need to do these things have said, hey, you know, cervical abnormalities take a very long time to happen and cervical cancer takes a very, very long time to happen, years, upwards of like 10 years before something that could cause cervical cancer can become cervical cancer. So if you're getting screening every three to five years, you're technically okay. Now, that's a guideline. It is not a rubber stamp approval for everybody and how they practice. It's a little different than what I do, okay? My take is that the guidelines say that if you get checked every three to five years, you will not necessarily miss cancer, but there could be a longer time and interval between finding some abnormalities in your pap. So I feel like every single patient I see is like my sister, my cousin, my buddy, and I want to find the bad things and take them out. Now, other people will say, but you're doing more biopsies, and maybe that's the case, but I'm also making sure that we've had these conversations and screening, managing risk reduction when there's abnormalities that are present. So you need to know what your insurance regulations are. Some will limit the amount of pap smears that you are allowed to get maybe every year, maybe every two years, maybe every three years. Your doctor does not get paid more if they pap you versus not pap you when you come in for an annual exam. I feel like I will pap to the limit of what your insurance will cover because, you know, it's a screening test. I think it has value, but that's a personal way that I operate. You get to have this conversation with your doc to decide what you feel the most comfortable with.